Hello, you're on Public Spot, and this is DevSchools, a rapid show in Dell on tools and practices in cloud technology in general. And so if this tickles your fancy, hit the subscribe button. So let's get into it. In today's episode, I will look into the difference between the implementation of for each and count. I've done quite a number of episodes on infrastructure code that involved the use of these iteration components in Terraform. When I did this episode on handling complex output in Terraform, I used the forage properties to create multiple resources based on the list of string as an input variable. This is what I have loaded on my VS Code at the moment. So let's quickly review what I did. So if I open my infrastructure directory and open my main.tf, the two resource blocks in here are created based on what is passed in the repository list variable. So without changing anything, let's head to my VS Code terminal and prepare my session for running Telegram commands. And if I run Telegram plan and check the resources that will be created from this output, a resource will be created for each element of the repository list variable. And if we look into the resource path, notice that these are all set using the string value of each element inside the variable. This means with for each block, I essentially created a map of resources. What if I want this to be a list instead of a map? So let me head back to my VS code and implement this. On my AWS ECR repository resource, I will change the for each to count. And because I need this to be a number, I will change what is passed as a value to this property. So instead of doing the to set call, I will get the length of the repository list variable. The name property will also need to change. So I'll get rid of this each.key. The count property comes with a reserved expression called count.index, which represents the index of each element on the list starting with element zero. And so to set the new value of the name property, I need to fetch the value of the count index on the list like this. And that's all the change that I need to do for this first resource. So moving on to the next one, I will also replace the forage property on this block and change it to count and set the value to the length of the variable repository list. The name property also needs to be updated and the value has a reference to the ECR resource from the previous resource block. In both ECR and Docker registry image resource blocks, I'm using the same input variable, which is the repository list. This means I have the same index for each element in the list. And so what I will do is, instead of using each.key in here, I can replace that to use count index. I also need to update the Docker file property inside the build block in here. And instead of using each.key, I need to pull the value of the count index in my list, just like what I did when I set the name property for my ECR resource. And now here is another interesting part. If I open my outputs.tf, I have two output blocks in here that are trying to reference an element of a map. But because I have changed the blocks from for each to count, these two outputs will fail. To fix this, what I need to do is find the index of the string that I want to pull from the list. In this case, I need the worker string. And then I will use that index to find the resource that I want to pull the value from. And now let me head to my VS Code terminal and rerun Telegram plan to see what has changed. And if I inspect the output of this plan, the resource path for all the resources have changed. Instead of having the string key references, they now have changed to numeric index references. This means when we use for each to create multiple resources from one resource block, the resulting object reference becomes a map. On the other hand, when we use count, the resulting object reference is a list. And that's it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.